Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel um, and part three of um, this acrylic panda painting that we're working on. Uh, the reference photo for this was generously um, given permission from Manon Wellner on Instagram, and I will link the Instagram page down in the description box below. So, um, after I finished last time, I was looking at my um, panda and looking at the reference photo. They, they happened to be side by side in my, uh, on my phone. And I noticed that um, there were some areas that I felt like needed to still be darker for the, the, um, the undercoat. So I just, I just went in and darkened up. Um, some of the areas that I thought were just still a little bit too light because we we want that depth and we want to have room to um, to get lighter and brighter and so I just darkened those up just a little bit. So I think I'm going to start. Um, I don't know. I'm debating on like starting here and working um, my way, but I'm also wondering if I want to maybe work on the ear a little bit. Um, it's hard to know what to do. Okay, so I think I'm going to work on the ear. So let's see if I pull this in a little bit, get a little bit closer, and I think it'll be a little easier for me to um, not bump the camera and hopefully not get my hair and face in the camera as often as I did last time. Sorry about that, my friends. Okay, so these are the brushes that I think that I'm going to be using in this process. So this is these two are just um, considered uh, rounds. This is a this one says number ten. I don't I don't know if that's correct or not. This one says number four. So maybe there maybe that is correct. But they have a nice um, you know pointy end on them. And then this is a dagger brush, um, which actually makes really nice. Um, thin lines for me. And then this is called a Filbert grass comb. And I actually use this a lot, not, um, not flat onto the um, canvas, but actually more sideways. I just really like it um, for that, but it's also nice to use the other way as well. So I get a lot of different variations of strokes. And then this one, which I used yesterday, um, which I really, really liked. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. Um, I'm still kind of, you know, experimenting and figuring things out. But these are the brushes that I seem to use most often um, when I am um, doing animals. Sometimes I use... Yeah, it's the same. So, yep, that's what I'll be using. And I've put some uh, some white, some uh, some titanium white, some um, transparent mixing white. I have um, uh, Payne's gray. I have um, the the uh, neutral gray five from Liquitex. Those are all Liquitex. And then I have some neutral gray. Um, from Dick Blick, which is a lighter, cooler gray. And I have some of the um, Grumbacher Academy Warm Gray, which is kind of a beige, kind of a beigey color. So that's what I have on my palette. And uh, I'm just gonna, I think I will, I think I maybe will try to do the ear. So I want a little bit more purple um, in the ear. So I am missing a color that I want. And I'm not sure if that will be ultramarine blue. Maybe it's out here already. Yes. And I've got dioxazine purple. I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to wind up using. Now, it might not show up at all on this on this dark color. But when I look at the, um, the fluffy edges of the ear, um, there does, it does kind of have a purpley... Uh, cast to it. So um, it, it may need to have some white mixed into it. I don't know. 
but I'm just going to just going to go and uh, see what I need to do. It's kind of I'm kind of at that point where I'm not like I don't know what I'm doing. I can't say, oh, now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do that. Um, because I, I still really don't know those processes. Um, I'm just experimenting and, um, and, and playing around with things. I just realized, I think I'm going to also put a little bit of this uh, light blue violet on my palette as well. Um, and maybe we'll mix some of those a little bit for that lighter um, stuff on the outer edge. So... I'm um, going to spritz and put some of this here on the edge. I really like, boy, I really, really like what happens when I spray my palette. Um, Not my palette, my canvas. When I spray the canvas before I put the paint on it, it um, it just seems to go on so nice. Okay, so I don't. Um, I really like this brush for just blending. I I had been using that big mop brush to blend things out, but um, this just kind of feels really good when I put it on the canvas. So, all right, now I'm going to switch to some more black. And I'm, oh, that's not black. That's Payne's Gray, which is fine. But it made me realize I do not have black on my palette yet. <laughs> so let's get some of that on here. Mars Black is what I'm going to use. Um, some more opaque black. And I'm running out of the paint in these little tiny tubes that I bought. So I need to grab the big one. <clears throat> the little tubes that I got when I bought all of the paint kind of as a, as a, I think it was 40 colors in the little size. Um, it worked out great for me because it gave me a whole variety of colors that I wouldn't necessarily know that I wanted, but I've used, but I don't necessarily use them enough to um, warrant me buying a whole huge tube. So it was really nice. That worked out really well. And so now I'm just buying the big, the big ones in the um, colors that I need. So over here, we have a lot of um, all, all of our lights and our, our uh, the light hitting on this side. And I think I'm going to add some some white in in here as well. I, but I, I think that's I think that's good for that. Now I'm just not sure what to do with the. I think I'm going to try transparent mixing white um, on this edge using this brush. Let's see, I also want to get that big mop brush out just in case. And just give it a little swoosh. Because this could be. Bit 
but I, I like it. I might glaze some um, blue over it after that dries. So we'll go with that <coughs> for now. Uh, I can always put, I could also put black on it if I felt like it was too much purple. Okay, now let's go with the blue, let's go with this um, uh, Blick Neutral Gray. And I don't know why, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what this brush does. I'm tapping it off so it's sort of dry. Oh, you know what? Let's, I'm gonna give it a little bit of spritz. I'm kind of in love with this brush. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of in love with this brush. Okay, so the shape of my ear is um, not the same as the reference photo. It's a little bit um, straight here instead of it being curved like this. And I don't know if I should worry about that or not, because boy, would that be a pain in the butt to fix. I don't, I, I think I'm not going to stress about it because... Um, I would have to redo the background to fill that in. And honestly, no, not going to do that. I just could see that opening up a whole can of worms of very, um, <laughs> that would just be problematic. I just know it would. So we're going to, we're just going to ignore it and pretend that it's supposed to be that way. And it doesn't look bad. Like I'm not too um, I'm not too concerned. So this is the transparent mixing white. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to dry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure that it's going to dry um, darker. You know, it's going to um, dry, letting the dark colors that are underneath it show through a little bit more. So. Um, that's why I'm just going to let it do its thing here. Like I'm not going to, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to just wait and see what color I get um, from it and then worry about um, whether or not I want to darken it or whatever. So... Um, I think that this ear, though, needs some more hairs, but I don't know if they should be dark or light. Um, because this reference photo is um, just, a, just a, a photo that I was given permission to use um, and not a, um, a photo that I purchased that is super duper duper hot, you know, like a super high resolution. Um, when I get to blowing it up, um, it starts to get a little um, pixelated. So sometimes you gotta just figure things out for, for yourself. too far out and I don't want to make his ear too big either by me constantly um, I think I'm gonna stop I think I will let that dry and then make my decisions as far as what I'm gonna do after it dries okay so now I think I want to work this way. Um, so, 
this comes, this part can be the hard part for me because I immediately want to start going for the details. And um, I know that I am not ready to go straight for details. I know I have several layers to do before I do details. Um, so I'm going to try and and do it the right way <laughs> from the beginning. So I'm going to stay, I'm going to do this area right here. I'm going to stay away from white. White is not my friend in this case. And I think I'm going to go with a, um, kind of a, I think I'm going to mix a little bit of the, of the two grays that I have, the light one from Dick Blick and the, and the one from because one's a cool gray and one's a warm gray. And um, I might not be light enough, though, because that's one of the reasons why you... No, that's not going to be... That's not going to work. One of the reasons that you um, want to make sure that your undercoat is dark enough is that when you go to put your layers on top, um, you don't have anywhere to go if you're not quite dark enough. But I think just the straight... Um, neutral gray from Dick Blick is what I'm going to use. And if you don't have that, um, just use um, like any gray that you have with white and maybe a touch of blue um, that will cool it down. See, even this isn't, I think in this case, we're going to go straight for white. Um, not white, not straight white. <laughs> um, but a much a much lighter gray. So I'm mixing um, my, oh, that's transparent mixing white, not white. <laughs> so, sorry, I keep confusing myself with which white is which, and I put them on two different sides of my palette too, so that I would not make a mistake, and I made a mistake anyway. All right, so I mixed some of that gray with white, and I'm telling you right now that I'm changing my brush because that brush does not feel right. I'm going to switch to my um, Filbert comb, but I'm going to use it like a Filbert. I'm not going to um, use the comb part. And I'm going to work from the... Oh, I don't know. It's a little of an awkward angle here. Let's get your stuff together, Karen. Come on now. Um, I tend to like to work... Um, the hair is growing this way so really a lot of the times I like to do this part first and then overlay each bit of hair on top but I, I, I think I'll be okay with just doing it this way this time now I want to Try and leave some of that um, undercoat showing. Because if I cover up too much of the of what was here previously, then you won't then I might as well have just painted the whole thing this color. edge to be soft. So I'm going to do a little spritz of water and hopefully this mop brush won't. No, I should have sprayed before I added the paint. So this brush to the rescue. <laughs> and I'll just... Oh, 
that's not what we want. And now I'm starting to, all right, I'm going to just leave it because I'm starting to um, fill in areas I don't want to fill in yet. So back to I'll go to the other side and let that dry for a little bit, I think. Um, and actually, maybe just a couple more hairs. And we'll see what happens when we put white, white over the top of that. Now this, we've got a lot of hairs coming this way. Um, but right now I just, I just want to get, I may have to switch brushes again. We're okay. Or I might switch to this one. Let me try, let me see what this one feels like. Oh, I have more control and get uh, skinnier lines with this one. I hope these are dark enough. You know what I might wind up doing is putting these in for the texture and then glazing over the top, glazing over the top with some um, dark, some black or something, and then um, coming in again and adding more highlights. A lot of the time that see, that method seems to work pretty well for me to kind of light, dark, light, dark, just work back and forth. Um really got to keep your eye on the reference photo because it's really easy to um, just be painting along la -dee -da, and then realize like you're completely off going in the wrong direction so I'm you know what I'm gonna do before I do this, is put some more black <clears throat> in here. Um, I don't want all those little, I don't want all those little um, holidays, those little white marks, I don't want those all showing. And um, God, I love this brush. That way, when I put my white color over the top, my hairs, there's no, I don't have to worry about anything. They're just, it's already as black as I want it to be down there, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. So I'll just keep working over here. A little bit more water, a little bit more gray. I definitely want it to be gray and not white. It's a beautiful day outside today. My windows are open. <laughs> It's like spring outside, which is so nice. That's why we live here in Arizona. Uh, 
Okay, there's a bunch of crazy hairs on the top layer, which I'm not going to even worry about doing right now because I want those to be, um, you know, the last layer. So, So I like how this part here still looks quite dark. I might have to add some a little bit of dark back in on this side yet. Let's just do a little. I kind of like um, keeping the the canvas slightly wet. The um, the brush strokes that get made on the wet canvas seem to be a lot uh, softer. Really light, 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 light pressure. I can see that like this area, I'm going to want my strokes to be a little bit heavier and more, a little more clumpy than what I've got going on here. And then down in here, is this dry all the way? I think it is. Down in here, I kind of want those um, white hairs to, where's my brush, to blend in kind of to fade away into the black. So I want to try something here. Um, that, <laughs> that didn't work because I wasn't dry. So guess what? We're starting over. Okay. I was thinking that that was dry already. Never mind. It wasn't dry. Okay. Um, let's. Should I work up top? I want to let that dry before I do anything else. Put a couple in there. So. Let's try, um, let's see, I've got to find my section of my photo that's, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that my, my very wonderful darling husband gets me an iPad Pro for my birthday, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, and, um, it's, it's like so much bigger than the one that I have right now, which will be really helpful for um, getting my photos blown up to where I'm, um, to where I can see them, <laughs> to where I can see more of the photo that I need. You know what? I'm going to switch to this one. Um, same color.
Now, I think you, you could, I could definitely see myself overusing this brush. Um, and you want to make, I want to make sure I don't get in the habit of overusing it to where all of my, to where I'm doing all the hair with, with it, because that would be, that would be bad. Um, but I like how it just gives that real spotty look. And then I can come in later with a tiny brush and add some different hair textures on top of that. Okay. This right here, I'm going to try white white. Titanium white. I want to know. I want to see what um, how bright that is. It's such a small area, and I I want to. I don't want to get paint everywhere else. Just here. So this edge I'm using straight titanium white on. careful not to overdo that. So I'm going to put a little bit of gray in for some of the other areas. Um, a lot of this is really, really soft. Like you don't really see defined hairs. Just try doing it like this. I'm switching to my small size reference photo and I need to see a little bit more of the big picture rather than teeny tiny little areas. This hair is a little darker gray. Um, sometimes give your palette a little misty spray too. Um, and it helps to keep your paint from drying out on the palette. I still have to figure out what I want to do about the eye. Now see, I feel, I feel like I'm already coming into the fine details here, and that's not what I should be doing. Okay, um, this is probably dry now, so. But see, all of this seems really fine. It doesn't feel big and clumpy, so that's why I was doing it that way. Let's come back over here um, and keep going here. So hopefully that's got dark enough um, undercoat on it. This part is quite white, so That stuff's not really showing up, is it? I 
there we go. That's a, that's a little better. It's showing up a little better there. This is kind of hair going in all different directions right here, up towards the eye. Um, so remember if you, um, when you're painting and you feel like you haven't got your base color dark enough, just glaze in some more darker colors or just gently tap in some darker colors if you want to. Um, and then just go back over it again. Okay, so in here I'm going to go all different directions. Just kind of... I might need to glaze some blue or something in here. We're going to play the drinking game again. <laughs> Got to drink every time I say the word glaze. Okay, right here. Hairs go up. You're not refining things yet, so don't don't worry about that. So I went straight to titanium white for down here. Um, I think after it dries, putting more on will brighten it up even more. I think right now it's still probably, because I'm kind of thinning it with water, so I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably going to um, still not be as bright as... I want to go ahead and do the edge that I th think is... Th the end of the really bright. It looks like it comes around to about right in here. I think we're going in the right direction.
every once in a while, take a break and sit back and look at your what you're doing and look back at your painting. Um, I find that that really, really helps me because, uh, you know, you're so close and you're working on it and you're looking at your reference photo and you're concentrating and everything. And it's like sometimes it just takes, it's just good to just take a second and and sit back because you can see things that you maybe wouldn't have seen otherwise. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of these hairs that are going a little wonky. Oh, that's too big, too big, too big. Too fat, too fat. I don't know why I seem to, f I feel like I almost get more control with this brush um, than I do with a little liner brush. I'm not sure why that is. <clears throat> The strokes that it can make are just as tiny as a liner brush, so use whatever feels most comfortable for you. All right, I'm going to stop there. I think that is pretty good. Maybe, no, nope, I think that's okay. All right, um, so that's enough for right there. can't quite tell if I need to glaze some darker in here and then put my my um my lights on top of it again this looks like it needs a little bit um, a little more contrast right in here so I'm going to what am I going to do for that I'm going to take some Payne's gray because um, I want it to be kind of blue and I can either mix it with water or I can mix it with um, a blend uh, glazing liquid I think I'm going to use glazing liquid because I don't want it to be too watery. So I'm going to try that. So tiny little bit of Payne's Gray mixed with the... Boy, that's really blue. I know they, I know they call it... Uh, I know it's Payne's Gray, but it looks really blue. So... Um, Anytime you're working on something and, and it's a little bit too blue, just put a little bit of the opposite color on the color wheel to tone it down. In this case, rather than using um, like a red, I just used some of that really warm gray that I have to take away some of the super blue color that was going on there. All right, now I do want this. And I did mix it with glazing medium, so hopefully, yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want, just a little bit darker right in here. This is why I like the Liquitex Basics and like to work with um, the sheer colors because I really like being able to just um, layer with, sh with sheer 
color on top of each other and then be able to come in now and after that dries I will add some more um, some more light and I will I will get I will get what I want and that will make me happy <laughs> all right so um, let's go back to working up hmm Part of me wants to do this down here, but the other part of me wants to do this up here. Okay, let's do um, over here. So I'm going to use, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go straight for titanium white. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This is kind of an awkward angle, cause it's, um, kind of where the camera is for me. Yep, I'm going to put my colors in and if I have to glaze some um, darker over, I will. So a little bit of this. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to use my new brush. Maybe I won't need it. I want this hair to be fuzzy. I don't yeah, I don't think I need it. I think this is I think that's fine. Okay, so let's get Yep, so I did not get dark enough here because now when I put my even when I use the white it's not really showing it might be because it's too wet it's possible it's possible that it's just not um, that there's too much water so I won't add any water to this but we'll go ahead and Although part of me wants to soften that out a little bit. Let's see what happens. If we... Yep. I think that's the biggest thing that I want to work on is softening my initial layers and having um, fewer harsh marks and the water really seems to help to do that because the paint just kind of spreads a little bit Yeah, good. But there's definitely a, um, what do you call it? Like that fine line between enough water and too much water. Okay, I'll leave that and probably we'll be able to add more whites on top of that later. Um, this needs to be softer. So I'm going to use my, my big brush after I um, put this on here. I'm going to put it on here in the direction of the fur and then I'm going to pretty much take it all away. want to wait too long though so I'm pressing down a little bit harder so that it looks like things are a little clumpier okay and then just a little soft brush um, that's what I need right there 
That's what I should have done here, but didn't. So let's try and soften that. Maybe even turn my brush a little bit more. Oh, I like that. Turn my brush a little bit more and all of a sudden that gets a lot softer that, and maybe I won't have to brush away the, what I did. Oh, that's better. Okay. Now, right here between his eyes, things are quite light, but maybe we need to wait to let this dry before I do that. Um, and now, this still doesn't seem like it's dark enough. Well, we're good. We're just still in those early layers yet, right? Right. Right. Soften things down. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let that keep um, drying and then add some more on top. <laughs> it's hard. I want to keep messing with it, but um, I, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Okay, let's, um, what do I want to work on now? Part of me really wants to come down here. And then I've got all of this. wondering if I want to play around with that eye a little bit. Let's do that. Um, okay, so I want to add some brush strokes into the eye, but I want them to be um, very faint and a little bit purpley. So what do I want to do for that? I think I want some, oh, good question, I don't know, um, black, purple, and that's going to be the super dark, and then I'm going to use that blue to lighten it up. That's too purple, it's still too purple, I need it to be bluey gray. Uh, still learning how to mix my colors. Um, sometimes I get mud, <laughs> sometimes I don't. All right, I'm gonna give that a little spray. almost a little bit too thin but maybe if I um, use my brush there that softened things down quite nicely
probably going to come in and add some more dark over the top. This, this is going to be too much. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I know I have to obviously work the, that black into the rest of the... But I... I that's kind of cool. kind of like that. I still, I still can't figure out what I want to do about that eye. Um, would there be a tiny little bit of eye, like, peeking through? It just looks weird to me that, that I can't see two eyes there. So. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't dislike that. I'm kind of thinking that I might put the white in and then put the black in and blend it in that way. Let's, um, let's see, is there anything that I want to change about the nose? We need a little bit more black. Right? It's not really black though. Maybe I should use paints gray. While I'm here, I'm wondering if I just put in a few dark lines, then I won't have to rework it so much. I can just put a few more white lines over the top and call it good. That's better. Okay. Um, it's fun to um, just, for me, at it anyway, to just like build up the, the layers and the colors and watch it um, kind of get better and better and look more and more like what I want it to, to look like. I need to put some hair. Right in here. To fix that. Yep, 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 that's good. Okay, what's next? Um, we have a little bit of time. Um, let's keep going up here. So I'm going to spray. It feels like when I put water down, everything is, yeah, when I put water down, everything is so much softer. And that's a good thing. This is a little heavy right here. Press down a little bit harder and get, um, get more clumpy hairs. going up.
Okay, that's... My brush was quite wet, so that's why that was... And I know it's probably not time for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so there's this area here that's just kind of gray soft and blurry, so I want to stay away from that. Okay. Well, let's just do it. I'm going to move up to the top. Let's do the top edge. Let's see what this brush does. Yep. Okay. It might take two times of doing this to get it to be as bright white as I want in the end. But this is going to soften that gray edge. I love it when things work the way you want them to. Much, much better than when things don't work the way you want them to. Over here. Oops, <laughs> wrong brush. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's. Um, do I want that 
bit softer, I guess. Should spray this. This, I'm going to add some more gray before I come down there too much, I think. Okay, that's not bad. So, a little skinny, lots of little skinny lines here. And then, we'll, and then I'll um, glaze some browns and other colors on top. I need to I need to do that ear before I start working on that. I just realized that I haven't um, worked on that ear, so er, gotta stop. <laughs> gotta got to do that ear. But I like the um, I like the softness that's happening here, and I like the. Um, You know, we'll come in, we'll add, we'll keep adding some, some brighter whites until we get it. Don't you love how I always say we? I don't know why I do that. I. <laughs> I will get some uh, brighter whites in there. So, um, let me do that ear real quick. Um, I say real quick. I don't think it's going to be real quick. I think it's going to take me a minute. All right, I'm going to scoot this over a little bit so that you're a little bit more in the footage. All right, so here's the dealio on this as I'm looking at my um, reference photo. This right here is branch. So I have to get that branch in before I can do this ear because I need to bring some of that brown in um, so that the, the uh, ear hair can be wispier on top. Um, so that does have to get done. So I'm going to do it right now. Um, 
I'm hoping that the colors that I have are going to work, and I'm hoping that the um, that blending brush that I have is um, going to soften it all up and make it look all out of focus, which is what I want it to do. So I'm going to use some burnt sienna, teeny little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to use my white. I'm going to use some gray. Um, anything else? This is where I really, this is the kind of stuff I really struggle with. Fur, fur I feel sort of comfortable with fur, but um, I just um, get really nervous about doing other, th other elements besides fur. It's weird, but it, uh, it is what it is. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to put, I'm just... Just slapping color down here. I don't even know why <laughs> using different, certain colors. Um, some gray, right? A little bit of gray. What about this one? Okay, to bring it in here because that's what we need, right? We need that to come in here. And this might be a case of it turning out better if I let it, if I um, do this in layers. So maybe I'll start there. And if you'll give me a second, I'll blow it with my handy dandy blow dryer and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in. Um, That didn't blend because I don't, I didn't spray before I uh, put the paint on. I think it'll be okay though. I'm going to take some burnt umber. to look like a tree branch, but I, I don't an even darker brown. This is the um, the Van Dyke brown from Amsterdam. Use whatever brown you have. This is not bad. It doesn't have uh, the lines that the photo has, but I don't know if it needs them. Oh, 
I'm going to call that good for now. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm going to let that dry naturally. And I'm going to start putting some um, of the hairs down in here. So I'm going to use neutral gray again and the um oh, where is it um the dick black neutral gray and the neutral gray five from liquitex But I don't think I want to use this brush. Go back to my uh, old sword liner. I think this is going to be too dark. So let's start here instead. a tiny little bit of Payne's Gray with the um, Neutral Gray 5 from Liquitex to get it a little darker. That way we have room, room to add the lighter stuff. So I'm kind of trying to keep it clumpy here. all the way. Well, I don't like that. That's no good. I don't have enough paint on my brush. Go a little bit lighter. Might be too light. No, I think that'll be okay. What I'm going to Yep, see I keep forgetting to do that as I'm working and I'm always happier with the end results when I do that. That's what we needed. Softer. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we're gonna go um straight light cool gray
it's not showing up very much which I guess is okay that just means there's more <clears throat> more room to add more lights on all right right okay in here whoops whoa don't do that spray from further away I have to remember because my canvas is so close to me I really need to back up when I um, spray so that's definitely the a big no-no I don't want to So I'm just looking at my reference photo and these hairs all kind of seem to be curling this way. So we'll get some of these in here doing that and then blend this, blend this out a little bit. It's a lot, um, a lot to, to do here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle that yet, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. Is this dry? Not quite. Um, is this dry? Yes. So, let's do that. Um. I'm going to just use black. Just to get his ear. don't like this. Um, his ear's too square. So I'm going to take some this tan color that I have on my palette. Oh, 
more. Got to be careful not blend the... All right, I think that's okay. That That's... Okay. All right, so I want to take some um, gray. I think... Just put some of that in here too. And I'm blending into the ear instead of out because I I want it soft and blended, but I don't want it blending into the tree. Okay, let's do feeling a little, I don't know, off about that ear. So um, I'm going to just do black because it needs some more black. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to soften that edge of that ear. I think I made it a little bit too scruffy when I... This is all quite dark. And then I'll, when that dries, I'll add some, uh, some highlighty bits in there. In the meantime, I think I can go ahead and do these. Although, I think I'm going to blend in this way. I did it again. Very bad habit. Too much, too much water. Still dripping. Okay. The soft. It's just amazing to me. Like when you find the right technique and you go, it's like things just click. It's like softening between the layers. <sighs> Makes all the difference in the world. Okay, so back to let's get let's get some texture going here.
we are coming close to probably being at the end of this video. Just so that I can get some some um, satisfaction, <laughs> I don't know, some closure. Um, let, let me see how this is showing up. Not great. So I'm gonna do white and possibly glaze over it later to dark. Um, I do want to make sure that I soften in between. Oh, there we go. just add rather than glazing I might just add some more darker um, bits right in here up. See, I really needed to get these strokes going up here. That made a huge difference. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, feeling better about this now. can glaze over right here. Well, that probably won't be glazing. That'll just be adding more black again. All right. I need to do some work here. 
before I can get his um, his chin fur properly. I should have just come in here better with this dark brown. think that'll be okay. There's still so much to do, but I'm really um, feeling hopeful. I'm really feeling hopeful that this is going to be very um, cool when it's done. So I think I will um, go ahead and let that dry, and I will end the video here. Um, on the next one, we'll work this um, part of his face. We'll get the, the, the initial layers here. We'll get the initial layers here, and then we will start detailing again. Because um, I really kind of do think I want to get his face almost all the way done before I start the next section. So this doesn't have to get done right. Well, this has to get done before this. <laughs> oh, sorry, you can't see. Um, yeah, this branch, this, you can't see it. Sorry, there's a branch here. That has to get done um, first. The big branch on top gets done after his body is done. This branch, let's see, his arm gets done then after that, then the branch, and then his front paw. And I think that's working from the very back to the front. And um, I think that will give us the, the best results in the end. So, um, all right, another one, another one done. Um, yeah, if you hung out with me through the whole thing, I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you guys. Um, it's always fun doing this. I appreciate all of the comments and all the likes and all of that. So keep it up. And until I see you on the next video, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Love to you all. Bye.